Good evening, everyone. This is Leanne from Of Love and Ship Lab and the founder of SubFat Sublimation Graphics and Tutorials here on Facebook. If you're joining us on YouTube, please be sure to come join our Facebook group. That link is in the video description and at the end of this video. And of course, if you're catching us live on Facebook, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find all of our videos after they are live in our neatly organized playlists. Tonight, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to sublimate a Home Depot doormat. Now, if you guys have not had the opportunity to do one of these, I definitely recommend them. They are very beautiful, they sublimate easily, and if you're able to get them, they are really a good, profitable product for your business. Now, in terms of profitability for these, it always comes down to what kind of designs that you're offering to your customers and understanding your market. One of the best ways to move these doormats is to connect with realtors um, and you know, build a relationship with realtors that will give them you know, the idea to wanna purchase those from you. I actually used to sell a lot of these to realtors and before that I was selling a lot of the hand-painted core ones to realtors. And those relationships really just came from me being out in my community and meeting new people. It wasn't because I was ever buying a house. Um, you know, and when you build those relationships in the business world, it's always an opportunity to potentially expand your business. Keep in mind that no one today wants to be sold. You and I don't want to be sold. So building a foundation with, a, with some sort of a relationship with another business owner is essential if you are trying to tap into that market. And that's same true for like wholesale sales as it is for something like this where a lot of realtors buy some sort of special housewarming gift for um, those that they have sold a house to. So with that in mind, um, you know, building relationships is so important. And I think that this is a really good product to do that with. And also, you know, build relationships with your neighbors. That's how you grow your business. If you don't build relationships with your potential customers and your potential audience, you don't have a business. Like people don't, aren't just buying to buy. They're buying because they want to support, they want to like what you're offering. So definitely make sure that you have some a good high quality design because that will allow you to charge more. And when I say charge more, I mean that a simple black monogram is mostly you're gonna get people to pay $35 in most markets. I mean, some people do successfully get people to pay $50 for them. Uh, if you do something that's like the personalized families that you can put together, you know, the build the characters that we see, Something like that, you can easily charge $70 for those, which higher price point by far, but the materials costs are still the same. And for a design like I'm gonna show you guys tonight, $55 to $60 is a fit, pretty fair price point because it is a beautiful and vibrant design, um, but it's not personalized. But the main thing is, is it's a nice, big, beautiful design. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to piece together um, a multi-page print and how to do the multi-press uh, in this video. We're just gonna be doing it quickly, so I did provide the links in the description for both how to devise your design in different design programs. Um, keep in mind that if you're using a different program, the steps are still really the same. You just need to work within the parameters of the program that you're familiar with. Um, it doesn't work for all programs because it only works for graphic-related programs. Um, so those that are kind of not graphic-centric, like design space, um, and honestly, even Creative Studio, you're not going to be able to duplicate these steps. But, you know, I've shown it in Inkscape, um, Affinity Designer, and Silhouette, and those same actions work in Corel, Sir Cuts a Lot, um, and Photoshop. So, <laughs> uh, and GIMP. I didn't do GIMP either, but all of them, you can follow the same steps for it to work. So, those videos and the video for that does the whole troubleshooting um, of how to piece together a multi-page print and do multi-pressing uh, for any type of larger substrate is all in one video. Um, so definitely be sure to check those out because I'm not gonna go super in depth in it today just to save time. And I have already created dedicated videos for that just for that reason. So be sure to check those out um, so that you guys can kind of tackle this project accordingly. Let me turn you guys around and I'll show you what we're working with. So the items we're gonna be using today are our doormat, some double-sided tape, and this is just regular scotch double-sided tape from Walmart, nothing special about it. 
we've got our transfer. I printed mine on the two sheets um, with my work for 7710 using printer jack ink and paper and some spray adhesive and a lint roller. And I'm gonna be using a giant paper cutter. Now I'm using the 18 by 13 version of the store mat. Keep in mind that Traffic Master is a subsidiary of Home Depot, so this product is only available at Home Depot and nowhere else. Um, it's not available in all regions, and it's hit or miss whether it's available online in your area. So, you know, all you can really do is kind of check the app, check the website, ask your store manager if it's possible to special order them. Those are kind of the options. If you're fortunate to find them, that's awesome. If you're not, it's unfortunate, but it's just kind of is what it is. They also have a larger version, which is, I believe, 32 inches by 48 inches. I do have that one by my front door, but I haven't sublimated it yet. That is plans for a future tutorial. So here's the SKU for any of you who want it. It's also in the um, description for this tutorial. So let me get our doormat out of the way. Oh, um, before I do, the... Interior space is 12 and a half inches tall by 24 and a half inches wide. So that gives you really nice large size. Even if you only did a, a design that printed on a 13 by 19 page, it still would look nice centered in this. And you can also do the edges. Um, all of this is 100% polyester, the black borders, that's the rubber. So obviously that's not gonna sublimate. All right, now I already went ahead and trimmed our one page, but I haven't done this one yet. First, you always just wanna trim off your edges um, just in case there's any phantom ink, or in that case, not so phantom. It was on my finger. I don't know where I picked it up from though. So I definitely wanna make sure I trim that off. This paper trimmer is from Amazon, for anyone who's wondering. I'm just gonna cut that little corner piece off because I don't want it to get on my doormat. Another thing about trimming your pages when you are doing a doormat, um, it just helps you make sure that you're a little closer to the edges, it makes it easier to center things. Okay, let me get this giant paper cutter out of the way. They do have smaller versions of this. I actually have two, I use them for canvas. Okay, now I already trimmed my second piece just to save some time here. Keep in mind that I do have a very detailed video that shows you how to piece everything together and videos on how to divide. Those are linked in the video description. And all we're gonna do, your, your goal is to have an overlap. Now this method is for soft substrates, just keep that in mind. Um, if you're doing hard substrates, you wanna have them budding end to end. So with this, got a pretty good overlap. We could actually trim this down if we wanted. Um, so that we wouldn't have to worry about lining it up as well. I swear every time I do this on camera, it's always takes me longer because it's a little bit more of a process trying to navigate around, around the tripod. Plus it's harder to see with you guys as you probably just got part of my head. Oh, 
Okay, so we're all lined up and I'm gonna just very carefully keep my hand in place, put something there to secure it. So you guys can see a little better. I find whatever's nearest works, tape measure perfect. We're gonna take a piece of our double-sided tape and we're gonna hold down and carefully lift up and put our tape there and then fold back down. Our goal is to not create any shifts. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And whoop, just like that, we are ready to roll. Now we're going to be doing this at 405 degrees for 70 seconds. Depending on your paper, your ink, your heat press, you might find that 60 seconds is fine. I have done them with 60 seconds and it's been successful, but then I've had other times where it wasn't. So I always use 70 seconds now. I mean, it's 10 extra seconds, not that big of a deal. Okay, we're going to first adjust our press. We wanna make sure that we're using as firm of pressure as we can get. So that's pretty firm, I can barely close it. That means that we are at the appropriate pressure. We'll give this a quick lint roll, you know, just to be safe. And I'm actually gonna shift this just a little bit while we get our design placed, because it is easier that way. We'll go ahead and get our design nice and centered. Okay, so my design is centered. So now we have to choose a way to, oops, me, give you guys a better view. We have to choose any choice of method to adhere this. Because we're going to have to shift it, we wanna make sure that we have the, our transfer secured as best we can on our, on our doormat. So, I'm gonna use some adhesive tape. I'm just using these other fine objects as a paperweight. We wanna spray the mat, not the transfer. And the reason being is because we don't want to accidentally bleed the transfer. Now, just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little piece of tape on here too, because quite honestly, you can never be too secure, and I know a lot of people struggle with, with this moving portion of this. You can stabilize your doormat by adding um, like a piece of one eighth inch plywood underneath it. I personally don't really see a reason to do that for myself. Okay. Got it down. I'm going to once again just add some tape just to be sure. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that I've got this lined up on my press. Make sure we are not over or under. So we're going to be getting most of this except for that last few inches. Because um, I think that this design was like 20 inches when it was all said and done. Okay, we're gonna put our blowout paper on there. We're gonna press this at 405 degrees for 70 seconds. All right, if you are able to get these doormats, they're roughly $13 each. These sell really easily um, if you do some of the really vibrant full color designs. If you choose to do something that's just black and simple, you're gonna find that it's not gonna sell as well and you won't be able to get as much money for it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with selling simple monograms and things like that, but just keep in mind that the time that goes into this is something that you can make really good money off of if you take the time and effort to offer the better quality designs, to refine how to piece together your designs, 
um, and refine how to do the double pressing. I promise you it gets easier the more you do it. Um, and for me, the doormats kind of went out of stock in my area for a while. I actually got these ones when I was in Atlanta visiting my aunt. Atlanta is also the home of Home Depot, for those of you who don't know. It's the founders of Home Depot who had the idea to launch the Atlanta Aquarium also, so there's a fun fact. Oop, we got five seconds, so I'm gonna hold my hand on here because I don't want my press to jump. Okay. I'm gonna carefully lift it up, and I'm just gonna slide it on over. I knocked over the, uh, um, I knocked over the lint roller. All right, so we slid it over very carefully and we're gonna press it again. Um, but anyway, so these particular doormats, I sell them for $55 at a minimum. The little extra time that goes into these, um, it definitely makes a difference in the price that you can charge. And I highly recommend making that effort for that reason. Now, for those of you who are saying, no one in my area will spend that money, it's most likely because you're not offering the designs that are gonna appeal to them. And again, something that's full color, vibrant, beautiful, that is what is going to appeal to your customers the most. Especially when you're talking about getting them to spend, you know, $55 on a doormat. Now, um, if you live in a sunny climate like I do, one of the best ways to maintain your doormat is to spray it with something called Ray Block. It's a UV blocking spray. And there are other types on the market. That's just one that Home Depot carries. So that's the one that I get because I typically shop at Home Depot. All right, we got just a few seconds. Set my heat glove down so I don't burn myself. We'll lift that up. Whew. Pull off my transfer. Now I'll put it over here so you guys can see this better. If you've never done one of these doormats, the rubber does tend to smell a little bit when it gets cooking. Just so you're prepared, I recommend having a window open or running a fan for that reason. So there is our beautiful doormat. As you can see, the colors look amazing. This is one of the things that I really like about Printer Jack ink and paper. I noticed that I get great color release. You know, my black looks black and that's probably one of the most important things. If you even look at the black compared to the rubber, um, it looks outstanding. So with that being said, this is our completed doormat. And the, I know that you guys are gonna ask about shipping. So the easiest way to ship these is to use poly mailers. Um, usually I use bigger ones, but I think I can make it work with, we'll see if I can make it work with the small ones. <laughs> um, but what you're gonna wanna do is you want to roll this this way you want to be cautious to not fold it on this crease because you know how when we roll something we start folding it first you want to make sure you don't do that on your rubber um, border because if you do you're going to end up causing it to crack the rubber is still very hot <laughs> okay so you would take it like this and you'll put some rubber bands around it or you can tape it um, the rubber stays hot on this for a while, so this is a little hotter than I planned at the moment while I try and keep my hand here. Okay, hold on. Let me, I'm looking for some packing tape, but I also don't want this to unroll at the same time. It is on the floor, that's why I couldn't find it. Okay, so you, you would take this and it's very difficult to do on the camera, by the way, guys. <laughs> All right, let's give this another try. All right, what you're gonna do, take it, be careful not to bend on the one part. It's still very hot, you guys. Just, just so you know. 
I recommend rolling when it's cool, not when it's hot. Mostly because I'm not sure the tape will stick while this is hot, but because you guys ask, I'm going to try and show this. Okay. So you give it a good tape, and then you can actually wrap this with saran wrap or that packing material that like tightly keeps it rolled up. And that's a really great course of action. And then I'm not, like I said, I normally use bigger poly mailers, but since my area stopped carrying these doormats, I haven't shipped them in quite some time. But you will take a poly mailer. Oh yeah, this one will work. And you will stick two of them end to end. Just like that. You can remove, I don't want to waste the poly mailer, but you can remove that little plastic right there so that that edge will stick. And then you can tape on this side, stick your shipping label on, and this is ready to go. This is probably one of the best ways to ship it um, because this is going to like use the least amount of cubic space. So therefore the shipping will be a little bit less. These weigh five pounds. So if you're planning on putting them on your shop or something, that's a good way to gauge it is that they weigh five pounds. And um, uh, they typically, if you're using pirate ship, they're going to cost about eight, nine dollars to ship anywhere in the U.S. So when I charge fifty five dollars, I do fifty five dollars with free shipping. So that means that with my transfer, with the cost of the doormat, with the cost of my poly mailers factored in, I'm looking at about $26 all in costs. And then my doormat profit is $25. Um, normally I do 65 with free shipping, 55 with $5 shipping, and it'll depend on the design. So my goal is to make 25 to $30 because start to finish when I don't have to explain all this over a camera, it probably takes me 10 minutes. So once again, that means that I can easily do at least five doormats in an hour. Um, and five in an hour with $25 profit is $125 for an hour. I don't know about you, but making $125 an hour is definitely high on my goal list. <laughs> so just kind of keep that in mind as you are pricing it. Now you can include care cards with these as well for your customer if you want. Um, the care being simply that if they do keep these in the sun, that the easiest way to keep them looking beautiful longer is to use a UV blocking spray on them. You don't have to spray it before you send it to your customer. Um, I don't, I leave them with the care card because some people, a lot of people will put these indoors, but they are totally safe for outdoor use as long as you use um, that, that uh, ray block or something similar to protect it from the UV light. I hope that this was a good tutorial for you guys and I did cover all of the bases. If you guys have any questions, please be sure to leave them below. Um, and I know I didn't mention it already. So this design is one of the design membership exclusives for March. I'm working on getting that up on the website. So if you haven't gotten the design membership, I highly recommend you do, especially right now. You know, it's one price for one year. You get all the designs I put out plus exclusives like this beautiful design. And there is a 10 piece bundle of exclusives every month, plus an exclusive every week, plus exclusive files um, for different holidays and occasions and milestones and things like that. Um, and it's all, you know, for one price for an entire year, uh, you get a special code to access my website and all your files are there indefinitely. Transfer printing and commercial use license are included. So it's all in one package. Um, right now it is on the quarantine special. Check the announcements for that. Um, or the link in the description to see what the current price is. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Bye!